hello, 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 hello. Uh, XDWC week three. We have a weapons map. We have some practice. We have no weapons to start off with. And the first thing you need to do is jump on this bounce pad. So something I've been told to point out is that these blue lines, they are going to, they, they guide the way that you should be going. So follow the blue lines in the way, uh, just in case you get lost on uh, split paths so you don't come back round. So if you follow the blue lines, then you'll be all right. You won't, um, like you don't want to go that way. You want to keep following the blue lines. So, yep, you could jump all over here off of these. These are all obviously jumpable with easy jumps. So, there are tricks to do, obviously. Jumping up here is going to be a trick. We're going to go bounce. And then, if you can, slick up there. Otherwise, here's a bounce pad. These little uh, blue outlined things. Again, just get around here. Now we've got some weapons. So, the simple weapon is just using that to get up there a little bit quicker. Uh, than actually jumping up the stairs. Um, then you'll have to get down here, which just involves holding W and turning. You can uh, turn in the air. Falling in the lava is just going to spawn you where you would land anyway. Um, here, getting up here, over, over. It's a very walkable map, which is incredible considering how difficult the weapons section is here. Now here we have a mine, so if you're going to use the mine, I think you're probably going to place it there and then do that. Um, but if not, what's going on? So you'll probably just fall down here. You can either use the mine at the bottom of here. Uh, so to use the mine, you use your secondary fire. So I use right click to jump and then mouse five. Boom. You'll get up. But otherwise, um, if you were to fall all the way to the bottom of here, miss your mine, you can walk around to here. Boing. Um, then round here, Hagar up if you want to, or the alternative is just here. You're going to again have to Hagar, so that's this weapon, just hold fire, look kind of 45 degrees down, jump, uh, hold W, and pew 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 pew, that'll wall climb for you. Uh, then down here. Teleporter. Up the top here, that's where you come out if you were to have Hagard up. Then you lose your Hagar into a little strafe section. It's not too long, not too difficult. Don't fall in any of the lava. Hope your spacing works out if you're going fast. See, don't fall in any of the lava. No idea how I'm going to slick off of that. And then into this section. Uh, so now we've got a mine, which... Apparently you want to mine up, but if you can't mine up, then go this way. Then we've got a rocket launcher. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom up to there. Or the noob friendly route. So the faster route is to go rocket launcher up the way. But otherwise you can just run. Try using the rocket launcher, it is a bit faster, you'll get some speed up. Um, into these holes, bounce pad, up here, down here, teleporter, and now just one last final run to the finish. So I'm quickly going to have a look if I can hit any of these, um, any of these kind of skill trick things, whoops, uh, to show them off to you. I might not be able to do them, but we'll have a look, uh, certainly for the different routes. I'm not too fussed about the bits that aren't different routes, like this. Um, figure out what's fastest for you, you know. <clears throat> if you're not getting up here consistently, just go lower. Just don't take it, you know. There's no point in trying if you really can't do it. So here, I think that, and then boom, to get across somewhere. Maybe land over there. Um, here is going to be tricky. Although I think people are firing down here and then just going like that. Yeah. So then straight through. Then here it's going to be like that. Yeah. That's worked out well. So you lose your weapons very quickly after each section. It is very much section based. Uh, I think using your weapons, you're not going to be able to save them. You're just going to lose them. You can see at the bottom, underneath my health bar, I do have a weapon bar. Whoopsie. Okay, I just fell in there. Oh, do I not? Oh, this isn't the mine bit. Okay. 
Um, yeah. Most respawns will place you in normal places. So this is just straight up. Okay, right. So yeah, that's straight up. That just takes you where the teleporter takes you into this room. Um, if you hold jump while you're using the Hagar, it's actually worse than not holding jump while using the Hagar or rocket launcher. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do that on this run. <laughs> I did almost get up earlier, but I can't seem to do it now. Yeah, if you just uh, sort of use the rocket launcher however you feel is correct. But you will come with more speed if you can. See which bits you can do. You know, I think the mines, the mines are a very easy weapon uh, to use. It seems they're very, very powerful. I've never used them before. I'm glad that they are in the game. Uh, I'm glad that we're using them because they are unique to Zenotic, which is an amazing thing about Zenotic. It has unique weapons, uh, not so much shown off in Defrag, unfortunately. But thank you for watching. Good luck on this map. I hope that the weapons are with you, and um, I'm glad that we got weapons because last year was a bit boring with only strafe maps. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next week. Congratulations to everyone who's competed. Thank you to Ash. Sorry, I forgot to say Ash, this map. Um, yeah, thank you very much. See ya.